This video looks at some examples of factorizing expressions using the difference of two squares. Here are three examples. In the first example, we have 9x squared take away 4. We're going to use the quadratic grid to solve this because we know we have quadratic solutions. So I place the 9x squared in the top box and negative 4 in the opposite corner. The factors of 9x squared that are the same size of each other are 3x and 3x, and the factors of negative 4 are negative 2 and plus 2. We see that if we multiply 3x by 2 and negative 2 by 3x, that this other diagonal adds up to 0. So it is true to say that 3x plus 2 multiplied by 3x minus 2 would be equal to 9x squared take 4. This pattern is always there, that we have the first term in each of these binomials is the same, and the second term is the same size, but different signs. So we have a positive and negative two. Let's do the same with the second example. So again, we're going to draw a quadratic grid because we see that this 25a squared minus 81b squared, we can recognize that that's squared. So we put it into this quadratic grid. We know this solution is going to be two binomials. Put 25a squared in the top corner and in the opposite diagonal, the negative 81b squared. The factors of 25a squared will be 5a and 5a, the square root of 25a squared. The factors of negative 81b squared will be a negative 9b and a positive 9b. These two factors are the same size but different signs. Again, if you multiply to fill in the missing diagonals, you will see that the sum here is going to be zero. So 5a plus 9b multiplied by 5a minus 9b is equal to 25a squared minus 81b squared. And let's look at the final example here. Again, we know it's the difference of two squares. We have two squares being one subtracted from the other. In the top corner, we put the first term x squared y squared. In the opposite the corner of the diagonal, we put minus 4a squared b squared. When we factorize x squared y squared, it's xy multiplied by xy. And negative 2ab multiplied by positive 2ab will give us negative 4a squared b squared. Again, I'm not going to bother multiplying out the day other diagonals, they would add up to zero. But we write our solution in brackets that xy plus 2ab and xy minus 2ab are the factors. Here we have two more uh, examples. Again, we're asked to factorize x squared minus 75y squared. We might notice that actually 12 and 75 are not square numbers. They have something else in common that three is a highest common factor. So firstly, factorizing these, just taking out the highest common factor, three, we would see that three times four x squared minus 25y squared would be 12 x squared minus 75y squared. But when we look at this expression in yellow, the 4x squared minus 25y squared, we would recognize that this is the difference of two squares. So we'll apply the difference of two squares strategy to this. So in the quadratic grid, we fill in the 4x squared and we factorize this as 2x by 2x. And negative 5y by positive 5y gives us negative 25y squared. Again, if we fill in the diagonals, we'd see that the other diagonals add up to zero. We get negative 10yx and positive 10xy. So we would write our answer in the following way. There's I suppose, three factors if we completely factorize it. So we have our, we could say that 12x squared minus 75y squared is equal to three groups of 2x minus 5y and 2x plus 5y. And the final part of this question, we're asked to evaluate 51 squared minus 49 squared without using a calculator. So we have the difference of two squares. So again, we could use our quadratic grid. So we would think about the factors of 51 squared. That would be 51 by 51. Factors of negative 49 squared would be negative 49 by positive 49. So we could say that 51 squared take away 49 squared is the same as 51 minus 49 multiplied by 51 plus 49. We could do this in our head because if we take 49 from 51, we get two. And if we add 51 and 49, we get 100. So the solution to this problem is two groups of 100, which is 200. 